What's going on ladies and gents, it's Salvaje, we're back with another Fortnite Save the World weapon review. I'm reviewing the Basilisk Medieval Pistol, uh, part of the Medieval set, and of course at the moment of me making this video you can get this pistol from Winter Llamas. And of course, if you guys can use my code Salvaje, I would highly appreciate it. As you guys know, I like to review weapons on multiple game modes with multiple heroes and multiple scenarios, so let's get started. Alright, so when I first got the Basilisk, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was going to be super overpowered. I thought I was going to be melting basic husk from 0 to 100 real quick. I thought smashers were, were going to go down instantly. I mean, Epic did say that it is a weapon that specializes on critical damage because it has a high critical rating. And the base critical rating is 20%. And for you newer Save the World players out there, that means that you absolutely want to be going for a critical rating, critical damage uh, perk rollout when it comes down to this weapon, okay? Because when you get critical rating all the way up to legendary, that means you're going to have, I believe, a 52 or 53% chance of, of course, landing a critical damage shot. On top of all that, if you have Field Agent Rio, and if you use a Ranger uh, Outlander on your primary slot at the time of me making this video, you're going to have like, what, a 60-70% chance of landing a critical damage shot? And that sounds really overpowered, right? But it's not, okay? And this is, um, again, this is basically what makes the Basilisk such a balanced weapon. So, the base damage of the weapon isn't really super high which means that when you land a critical damage shot the critical damage shot is going to feel as if it didn't really hit super super hard at least compared to other pistols like the bald eagle or of course the last word pistol i mean with the bald eagle or the last or the last word pistol if you land a critical damage shot it's going to hit like really really hard Anyways, even though the Basilisk sort of has that shortcoming that the critical damage shots aren't going to be doing massive amounts of damage, it definitely still makes it an effective pistol. For the most part, you can definitely melt basic husk with the Basilisk really, really easily. The fact that it has a really big magazine size also helps, and it also helps you get a lot of critical damage shots in. So again, basic husks are just going to be completely melted. Within a 5 tile range, you're going to be doing some pretty decent damage. You're going to be able to 2 shot them if, of course, you're able to land those headshots. And for the most part, if you get within a 3 tile range, you're going to basically 1 shot kill a basic husk with a headshot, of course, if he's not too over leveled, okay? When it comes down to Husky Husk, for the most part, you want to be fighting them up in the three tiled range. I found that that's basically the most effective. And I just want to point out that if you want to maximize this weapon, I really do believe that you need to be getting headshots with the Basilisk so that, of course, you're able to use it to its most effective nature. When it comes down to Mist Monsters, Blasters, and Takers, you can melt them pretty easily if you're within that sweet spot three tile range. And when it comes down to Smashers, you absolutely want to be rocking maybe a Last Word or a Bald Eagle just for that extra amount of DPS. I just don't think that this weapon is powerful enough if of course it doesn't have full legendary perks when it comes down to of course fighting a smasher and you know keep in mind guys one of the reasons why I like to review weapons without legendary perks is because there are people out there in Canny Valley and Planker Town that don't have the ability to get weapons to legendary perks and they just want to know how the weapon performs with like blue perks for example anyways the weapon handles really really great okay i really like how the weapon handles the bloom is basically sort of very very centered it's not like all over the place you can actually hit fire with this weapon and actually be really accurate and that's one of my favorite things about the weapon right the hip fire is just super amazing in fact sometimes i had a lot of basic husk in front of me and i basically just found myself hip firing because i knew it was basically going to be the better choice again the weapon handles amazingly if that's even a word also, I just want to point out when it comes down to range effectiveness, just in case you haven't been playing a lot of attention, you probably want to use this within a 5 tile range when it comes down to basic husk. And 3 tile to 2 tiles is basically going to be the sweet spot for things like husky husk and of course smashers, blasters, and uh, takers for example. Anyways, recommended perks easily you want to be having a magazine size on this thing it's basically a must-have so that you can land as many critical damage shots as possible you want to have double critical damage energy if you want uh and of course you definitely want to have critical rating on this bad boy okay so i wanted to save the best for last the special perk that this weapon has when you get a critical damage shot you get about 2.64 percent of the critical damage shot that you put out and the perk is definitely very helpful i think it's bugged sometimes it doesn't really trigger itself but if you actually manage to get a couple of critical damage shots in a row 
and of course their big damage shots for example you land a headshot you can actually get some pretty decent amount of shields as you guys are seeing in the gameplay example uh it can definitely help out specifically in the frost knight mode anyways when it comes down to the star rating i'm going to give this weapon a four out of five stars because it's very reliable very consistent at doing its job honestly it's really balanced out and i think it definitely has a place in my inventory if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to join the Survival Cartel, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next weapon review.